Welcome to episode 14 of my journey on the Camino de Santiago. If you've been following along, you know that my feet hurt. And guess what? They still hurt. And I'm going to tell you all about that in this episode. But we're also going to discuss mean bus drivers and how hungry I am. But you know what? There's going to be a blessing, a cornucopia of food. So let me show you my journey. Okay, I'm walking. I question whether I want to keep going or should keep going because everything hurts and I'm having like anxiety every night but I'm walking and I did skip out of Lyon today I took the bus which I don't even feel bad about it, apparently it suggested to do that in the guidebook so I was like who am I to tell the guidebook it's wrong I've walked nearly 300 miles I've skipped 16 on a bus because it's industrial and I don't care <laughs> um, but here's, here's what hurts today. Right here, I'm like behind my ribs. I think it's a pulled muscle maybe. It only hurts when I'm walking. It's not terrible right now. My knees aren't hurting right now, but they will, they will. So I'm only walking 10 miles today, plus what I skipped with the bus will make it 15 miles which is great. That's a good distance for today. And I'm staying in a supposedly like really nice albergue tonight, but um, it looks really neat. I just stopped in the, the town where the bus dropped me off. That's what I was going to tell you about the bus. Okay, so I get to the bus station and there, there's not a single sign anywhere telling you what bus is going to stop where. And then as the buses stop, most of them aren't labeled. So I'm standing there like, crap, which bus do I take? So I start asking people and a few people are helpful. A couple people are very, very rude, but you know what, they'll get what's coming to them. And finally, I see, I see the bus. My bus actually was labeled, it was just late. It was supposed to leave at eight. It got there like just after eight. So I go up to the bus, I wait my turn. He asked me in Spanish, where are you going? I said the town, he goes, K. I said the town again, he goes, K. <laughs> so I slowed down and made sure I pronounced every single syllable perfect. Then he said something and I'm like, are you telling me this bus doesn't go there? I was like, I'm sorry, I no comprende. <laughs> and anyway, long story short, he seemed kind of peeved that I was getting on his bus, which I don't understand because it's literally my stop was the first stop on his route. So why is that a problem? And then he's like, put your bag down underneath the bus. So I back out of the bus, put my bag up. Then he's like, go, go, go. Like rushing me. I'm like, bro, slow down. <laughs> I caught the bus. It was fine. I made my stop. Said bye to the grumpy driver grab a little breakfast and a coffee. No idea what kind of coffee I got. I just pointed at someone else's and I was like, that means more. <laughs> Thanks Andrea for that one. And it was good. It was like 50-50 coffee and milk, like legit 50-50. Oh, and as you can tell, it's supposed to be raining, but it's not. So rocking the sandal socks until the moment I have to change because <laughs> these these do not have traction on wet surfaces like at all for the record I skipped the industrial part still on the highway <laughs> better. 
Okay, little fun fact. I'm terrified of holes and like empty places. I just walked past, you see one, two, and there's like four more on the other side. Those end ground buildings, they are all empty and at least I think they are empty, but they're like ruins and they're all open and dark. And that was so scary. I like ran. <laughs> ran past them so you don't know what's in the dark holes you know what I'm saying I've seen too many horror movies I stopped maybe an hour ago and had a banana a little bit of chocolate and a can of Aquarius which is a hydration drink and then I peed this is one of those moments where I need to pee again and I looked on the map I'm maybe, I don't know, I can't tell if I see the town up there or if I'm further away from it than I'm thinking I am, but, oh, like it's, it is a number one, but it's also a number one and a half, possibly two. I'm not doing that out here. New fashion statement, a sock is rubbing a hot spot on me. Soft part of my foot. Okay, so this part's a little weird because I've literally just been walking through parking lots, but it's the right way. I am 3.7 miles from my albergue, which means I will probably get there a little bit before two, which means I'll probably get there right in time for a siesta, which means. I might not have lunch today. And I'm aware, I'm aware that this is a mistake that I am making. Fingers crossed there's something open for my lunch. Will be a chocolate bar and some cookies. And I need nutrition. Like some chicken with a salad. Maybe a tuna salad, tuna and pasta. I'm not being picky here, just anything but a chocolate bar <laughs> or a chocolate croissant. Anything but those sound really, really good. There's a 99% chance that I got stuck in the rain. Yeah, I got stuck in the rain. <laughs> I'm so cold, my nose is numb. Hopefully the rain is not just that. I have two more miles. Just two more miles. It has stopped. No, it's still a little drizzly, but it's not coming down like it was, so. Just gonna keep on going. Okay, I'm having a, it feels like a shin splint on my left leg, but I massaged it and it's actually just the muscle. So I have slowed down, so I will definitely get there after siesta, but I'm enjoying this walk right now. It's actually just gorgeous and I just walked past, I don't know if you can see it, there's a garden back there with a wall, just like a fence wall covered in flowers and I'm so hungry. <laughs> but I found a restroom earlier, I don't know if I... I don't remember if I mentioned that I really had a potty, but I found a restroom. I did. I already told you this, I think. Well, anyway, now you know. <laughs> it has stopped raining. This is my town. I can see it. And I'm in the other day. It's just before the town. So I should be very, 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 very close. Which is great because my leg is hurting so bad. And I'm so hungry. I know I've said that a thousand times, but I'm hungry. <laughs> All I've had today is a chocolate croissant and um, a banana, a tiny, tiny banana, like toy size. <sighs> oh, what's that? Sunshine? That's weird. So oh, this is nice. My hostel or upper gate, I'm not really sure where I'm at. <laughs> like nice garden. And then a pool. 
soaking my sore ankle and I have this huge covered area and that's where laundry goes. So even though it's gonna rain, the laundry should get dry. Which is great because this shirt smells like mildew because it did not get dry the other day. Good morning. Wow. Busy, busy road this morning. Um, today I have it's just short of 15 miles. I am making my way from San Miguel del Camino and I'm headed to Astorga and that should be where the Meseta ends. So I'm excited to change the landscape for a bit. So peaceful. Right. Entering my first town, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, I already forget the name of it. Something. Delo Bri or Brico or Pico. You just butcher that name a bit more. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I should be about six miles in with eight left to go, but the app is saying that I'm not and that I have 10 left, which I guess could be accurate. I'm not the best at math, so. <laughs> I looked it up so that I'm not that person. <laughs> this is Hôpital de... Hôpital de Obrigo y Puente de Obrigo. So, I learned that, or at least I think, Hôpital does not mean hospital. It means like a place of rest, a place of hospitality, which might mean that this was like a big spot for pilgrims to rest. I don't know. I'm kind of making things up right now. I will look on Wikipedia when I get home. Wow. So many arches. The wind just picks up. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I wound up on a detour, quite by mistake. It's adding an extra mile to my already long 15 mile day. And I'm actually enjoying it because I'm not walking along the highway. It's beautiful. There is definitely going to be rain soon. And uh, I've met so many new people today and I ran into the girl that I ate dinner with the other night. Um, so it's going good. Like it's having those rest days. I think has kind of has kind of grouped me in with a different collection of people. So it's been really nice getting to meet more people. Um, however, I think my brain will explode if I learn one more name. Uh, like every time I see someone, I'm like, what was your name again? I've talked to you for seven days straight, but I don't remember your name. <laughs> it's literally how it's been going. Anyway, I'm gonna put you up because I need to use my sticks. It's very rocky. And I need to speed up a bit before this rain falls. <laughs> muddy. I'm thinking I'm going to stop and put on my new shoes when I get a chance. So it's already been like fairly rocky, fairly muddy. As much as I don't know where those shoes, they would do better. <sighs> In case you notice, I'm back to one sock. I think my other sock has just gotten too crusty. Like it needs a good, a good launder. It's very muddy. I just walked through Literally through the middle of somebody's farm. <laughs> I'm still in the middle of it. It smells like cow. It smells like wet cow. And I'm pretty sure this is not just mud that I'm walking through right now. This 
is a spread. Like mirage in the desert. Yeah, uh -huh. it is. Thank you, Mike. And there's Astorga. This is the town I'm staying in, just in time. These clouds are insane. And this wind is getting strong. I'm so close and I'm ready to take these stupid orange shoes off. They hurt so bad. <sighs> Don't know what this is, but I guess I have to cross it. The wind is literally blowing me around. And like, it's so strong, it's grabbing my sticks. But I think I'm really, really close now. Astorga! And that yellow building is where I'm going. This is cute! In next week's episode, severe foot pain triggers my FND symptoms. Back to my sandals. Extreme fatigue hit me. Oh, I noticed myself starting to take smaller and smaller steps and I'm not letting my brain do this to me. And I'm sent a message from up above. And how I had obviously had the mental and the physical experience on this one, but not the spiritual yet. I think I've had all my experiences now. And I still have 13 days to go, more or less. Who's counting?